Hello everyone, welcome back. We're on another mission today and it's a 12 kilometer mission. So 12 kilometers there, 12 kilometers back. Hopefully I won't be too tired because I haven't really done anything of that distance. Well, it's always good to try out new things, right? So now it's, what time is it? It's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, starting off early as usual. And we're in the north of Hong Kong. So we're around Maon San area. And our target is to hit uh, the Hoi Ha one, the Hoi Ha Marine Reserve, basically. And from what I heard, there's a lot of coral there and even possibly finding Nemo. So that'll be quite fun. So I hope you enjoyed the show today. So on the left here, on my port side, you can see beautiful mangroves. And it's actually quite shallow, probably only about 30 centimeters of water. So a foot. And there's a lot of surface activity today also. It seems like there's a lot of fish and a lot of bait fish swimming around. It's just so calm today. Well, I guess most mornings are really, really calm. And it just feels so nice and there's a slight breeze. So the conditions today, we're expecting about 10 to 15 kilometers in terms of the wind speed. And it's a rising tide now. And the swells around this area is about 0.8. And I expect it to probably go higher once we're out more in the open. So conditions are good. It's not so cloudy, not so gloomy as last time. So we should get some really good footages today. And Stanley just got himself a new paddle. Oh, can we see? Can we see? Hold on. Can you see? It's a carbon paddle. So he's going to be going much faster than I am. But I think it's all in the technique. <laughs> I haven't said this before, or not that I can remember, but if you're watching this episode or my channel and you're not subscribed yet, really appreciate it if you can click the subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. We've gone five kilometers and it's gone past pretty fast and I didn't expect it especially because we were going against the current and the wind so now we're heading to this little beach uh, just to have a bit of a break have a bit of a rest and you know rest our, <laughs> our bottoms as well as our legs and our you know our body for a bit have a coffee and then move on to the next spot did you say you have to rest your bottom yeah <laughs> I didn't say Stanley. I didn't say Stanley's bottom. I just said our bottom. Okay, so this is the beach that we're approaching now. It's a very small beach, but it's nice and secluded. Did you hear that? He's singing over the rainbow. <laughs> Okay, this is the beach, stop number one. Just having a bit of a break, having our coffee, and this is what it looks like. It's a really nice beach, it's very secluded. You can see our packayaks there. And we're gonna have our morning coffee, as usual, have a bit of a break. So we just had a small unfortunate incident. We weren't looking at the waves and just playing with the drone and admiring the, you know, that environment atmosphere here. And a rogue wave came and flipped Stanley's boat. It pushed my one further up, but his one flipped and a lot of sand went in. And you'll see it in the drone image that I put up here now. So this just shows we have to be really, really careful of the ocean, right? I mean, we always say it, don't turn your back on the ocean because you never know what's going to happen. Lesson learned for both of us. So you can see his kayak is on the shore because we'll have to separate it and remove all the sand from all the rolling. Oh, bit of a pain. Okay, time for us to go to the next spot. 
especially after that little incident which set us back about 20 minutes so we've gone eight kilometers going against the wind and it's been quite quite tough but it's still okay so we're just floating and just having a bit of a rest but going back will be a lot easier because we'll be going with the wind and the current too so we've got another three kilometers to hit our spot and I can see actually a police station it's a floating police station so we're quite close to the China border the Shenzhen border I think maybe 10 kilometers away 10-15 kilometers maybe not even so if you go past this area you have to kind of go and say hi and wave and they if they want to like search you they will search you but because we're not going going towards that area I don't think we have an issue we're just going to the marine area okay so remember how I was saying there was that police checkpoint that we need to uh, go through if you're a speedboat or anything else it seems like we need to go through that too because they just pretty much blocked off the whole channel so you've got all these floating uh, it's a floating wall essentially and it seems like we can't go through the edges and I think just to be sure we need to go through the checkpoint just to see if we can go through or not this is going to be quite an experience <laughs> here's the blue wall as you guys can see here yeah it's a it's a barrier for police checkpoint okay I'm gonna stop recording this okay so we just went past the checkpoint and they said to us there's no problem just be a bit careful because there's a lot of speedboats out here and just head to the place that we want to head so you can see it here in the background super nice super super nice they did uh while we were going past it they were stopping other boats like fishing boats and other speed boats we're almost there finally finally so up front because this is a marina reserve there's actually like an office there on the jetty that is a marine research facility and I remember that because I actually have been here now that I think about it I've been here before we made it we made it just by the beach oh god that was tiring we thought we were close but ended up being another one or two uh, another two kilometers or so. so so it's a bit of a relief that we're here on the beach and we can actually have some rest I don't even know if I can get up oh, my legs oh. we've made it to shore yes oh, that was a really long trip okay so we're at this beach here now at the marine reserve there's actually a few beaches I think there are two main beaches and we went to the one with less people so actually it's a bit windy now uh, so we went to the beach with less people and now there's just two of us and there's actually a lot of people kayaking here as well it seems like there's also a kayaking training school but once we landed on this beach we ended up seeing like this little estuary system let me show you so this actually reminds me of home a lot like in Sydney I see a lot of these and I can hear a waterfall actually oh interesting so this bit here I'll play the drone if I have the footage but if I don't then yeah can't see it but that sounds like a waterfall I wonder what that is I'm sure this place is a nursery for a lot of small fish and it just looks really gorgeous very uh, safe place for kids to come and just to you know soak their feet because I think it only goes up to like okay maybe a meter deep so not very very deep ah there's a small mullet there okay we're just finished on the beach and it's already let's see half past 11 and we expect to be back by around two o'clock so we're a bit rushed for time that's why we couldn't spend so much time on the beach which is a bit of a shame I would have loved to have rested a little bit more and have a bit of a swim but uh, time is always against us right 
I'm sure you can hear in the background there's like a lot of kids screaming. I think it's a school excursion and they're having so much fun and they're kayaking as well. So that's so great. I wish I did kayaking when I was younger at school, but it just wasn't an option. Okay, Stanley's here. Oh, he's doing a drift. You can see it's drifting behind me. Okay, are we ready? Yes. We're ready. We're going to do it. Okay, so we just went past the police checkpoint. They didn't even talk to us. They just looked at us, told us to go, <laughs> go away, essentially. <laughs> I can't hear you. Huh? I'm talking to GoPro. It's actually really windy now. I'm not so sure if you can hear me, but we're almost back. And we've been fighting the wind and the current in this little bay. And I'm happy to say that we're almost back. Oh, so so tired and I'm at this place where I can see a beautiful mountain and it just looks amazing oh, so hopefully next time we'll find a place that's a little shorter not this far and explore a shorter area because this really got to me today I'm pretty tired pretty knackered I think we did almost 30 kilometers Say again. I can't remember the place we set off. It's probably on our right. You were right. I think I see it. We're having a bit of trouble trying to find our exit. The tide just looks so different because we came at high tide, now it's low tide. We're a bit confused on where our exit is but I'm sure we're heading the right way okay I hope you enjoyed today's show it was a long one but you know I think it was worth it so catch you next time see ya take care